This is a weather briefing on the severe weather potential for today, October 2nd, 2014, from your National Weather Service office in Fort Worth, Dallas. An upper level trough and cold front located to our northwest this morning will continue moving east today and will be the main features providing support for severe thunderstorms this afternoon and evening. This morning, there is a slight chance for thunderstorms north of the line from Comanche to Cleburne to Greenville. Severe weather is not expected this morning, but some of the storms could become strong, producing small hail and possibly gusty winds. The main show will be this afternoon when a line of thunderstorms develops along a cold front that moves through the area this afternoon and evening. Some storms will become severe, producing large hail and damaging wind gusts. Storms will start out isolated in western areas early this afternoon, but by mid-afternoon when the front approaches the Interstate 35 corridor, storms will become more numerous. By early evening, storms are likely for areas east of the Interstate 35 corridor because a squall line will be fully developed along the front. Some areas, especially in our western locations, may not see any rain. However, because there is a slight risk of severe storms everywhere, Everyone should keep an eye on the weather during the time range listed for your area and be prepared to take appropriate action if severe weather warnings are issued for your area. By midnight tonight, the front and the storms will have cleared the region to the east and southeast. In the wake of today's front, high temperatures the next few days will be cooler, but temperatures will start climbing again by Sunday. On average, high temperatures Friday and Saturday will be in the upper 70s to mid 80s. Overnight lows will be significantly cooler, with most of the region falling into the 40s Friday night and early Saturday morning. If you are caught outside today during a severe thunderstorm, seek shelter in a strong building and stay away from windows until the thunderstorm has passed. Thank you for joining us for this morning's briefing. Remember to keep an eye on the weather today and be prepared to take appropriate action if severe weather warnings are issued for your area. For more information, please visit our webpage, which the URL is listed on the screen in front of you. And if you have any questions or comments, please email our webmaster account, also listed on the slide in front of you.